you told he's a slave, right? Yeah. He's a slave. Yes, he's a slave. Why are you Haiti? saying that? I'm from Haiti. Yes, why we, we are here today to protest against what, what, what Uto what, what is about to do. Yes. Haitians from the United States of America are on the street demonstrating and protesting against uh, President William Ruto, uh, the thing of deploying a thousand, uh, a thousand uh, police or military to Haiti. Haiti, there is a problem in Haiti. They are fighting and they know why they are fighting. They are fighting for the freedom of the country. They are fighting because they don't want the influence of the white people. Now, in this protest, the Haitians who are protesting, the, uh, the Haitians in the USA who are protesting are calling uh, President Ruto a puppet and they are calling uh, the President of the USA, Joe Biden, a criminal. Watch this video. You, 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 know, you know Uto is a slave, right? Yeah. He's a slave. He's a slave. Why are you saying that? I'm Haiti. We are here today to protest against what, what Uto is about to do. Yes? Yes. Why do you think it's a bad thing? It's a bad thing. No, you want way. to invade Haiti? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with, uh, with, uh, uh, um, Still a slave. Still a slave. That one you were sacrificing. Power to the people. That one you were sacrificing. Power to the people. That one Kenya occupation. Power to the people. That one Kenya occupation. Power to the people. That one you were sacrificing. These are Haitians on the street of United States of America protesting against William Ruto. We may say that William Ruto is facing a backlash. Now, let me react on this video. Uh, I know I'm not in Haiti and uh, I'm in Kenya. As a Kenyan, we have our own problems to face. As a Kenyan, we have our own security issues. We have bandits in Kenya. There are some schools in Kenya that have not opened yet because there is uh, insecurity in the region. Like Baringo County, we have insecurity issues from the bandits. The northern sides of, the, of Kenya, we have insecurity issues. Why is it that our president, William Ruto, is taking a thousand people or a thousand police or a thousand military to Haiti? And we as Kenyans, we have our own problems. Why don't we solve our own problems so that when we are clean, so that we can take our military to other places? Now, Haiti is a black nation. Like 90% of Haiti people are black. Kenya is a black nation. I think that if USA wanted to maintain peace or want to maintain peace in Haiti, take your own military to Haiti. Why, do you, why don't they take their own military to Haiti? Why are they using our black country military? Why are they using Kenyan military? That's what I'm saying that they are using a black brother to fight another black brother. That is slavery. Now, because they don't want to go there themselves, they want to use a brother to fight another brother. The, protest, the Haiti protesters are calling uh, uh, President Ruto a slave. And which, from my perspective, that's true. Because if you are working under someone, if you are being controlled like a remote, if you are being manipulated by the white people to do something, not because you want to do it, but because maybe you are getting favors from them or you are getting favors in return. The Haitian people who are protesting are right, according to me. I don't know what's your thought. 
If you have some different thoughts, tell me in the comment section. But for me, I think African leaders must stand out. African leaders must stop this manipulation system. They are being manipulated each time by the white people. Now it's obvious, I've seen it, it's obvious that USA or United States government is manipulating the Kenyan government. There is a journalist in the US uh, who asked this question to President Ruto and Joe Biden. Let's hear him. Follow up to my president, Dr. Ruto. Um, you said that uh, Kenya is committed, and uh, in your uh, Carter speech in Atlanta, you said it's based on humanitarianism, helping Haiti out. But can you explain the geopolitical goal, 12,000 kilometers away from Nairobi, when schools in the counties of Baringo, West Pokot, and Turkana have not yet opened because of the banditry problem, yet you are committing our national police force to Haiti, and where is the priority? Is this being one of your major manifesto pillars, talking about security, and to the extent that even the Defense Cabinet Secretary talked about the deployment of, if need be, the Kenyan military or the special personnel to make sure that schools are open, children go to school in areas that are bandit prone in Kenya. Why are you committing to Haiti when we have a problem back home? Is it an irony that you are putting the fire in the faraway neighbor's home when, you are, we are, when our own home is on fire? Thank you very much. I made a commitment to the people of Kenya to sort out insecurity in the North Rift. I have followed that with action. As we talk, there are 3,000 military officers in the North Rift, 2,000 police officers in the North Rift. We have renovated the first 15 schools and completed. We have reopened 20 schools already that were closed in the North Rift, and that exercise is ongoing. We have made tremendous progress in making sure that we create security at home, but that does not take away our responsibility. Even as we were deploying troops and policemen in our own country, in North Rift, to sort out the banditry problem, we still deployed a thousand, trip, uh, a thousand group, uh, troops to DRC Congo because that is our neighborhood. We have 5,000 troops in Somalia because equally that is our responsibility. And Haiti should not be an exception. That's why deploying a thousand security men to Haiti speaks to the same belief and commitment to peace and security. Have you heard the issue about Haiti? What do you say about the issue of Haiti are protesting against uh, William Ruto is facing a backlash in the United States of America? He has gone there. I don't know for our interest, but yeah, you have seen the news. Um, yeah, I've seen the news. Yeah, I've listened to it. Um, when Ruto went to the to the United States, I think it's because he had uh, heard about uh, like okay, a lot of things have been happening to Kenya of late. Uh, the, the unemployment issues and uh, many other issues, okay? We have been going through a lot of things. So when Ruto went to the United States, um, everybody else thought maybe Ruto was, was going to um, to come out, um, to come about with, an, with, a, with a solution of the things that we are going through in the country right now. Because right now as a country where we are, we are at, uh, we are we are at risk and uh, we are facing uh, a, a, the real crisis, okay? But... Um, First of all, before you continue, do you yeah. think uh, we are facing crisis, but do you think we need uh, the U.S. or we need the U.S. government for us to, okay. to we, clean? We, we, we are facing crisis, okay? But we don't need uh, the U.S. government actually to help us solve our problems. You are talking, uh, the, other, the other day, just the other day, you were talking about uh, this guy called Ibrahim Traore. You were talking about that guy uh, from which country? Which country is he from? Burkina Faso. From Burkina Faso. He's a president that came out and he done a lot. He has, he has done a lot of things. He's helping the country. He's doing all the things to make sure the country is in a in a in a, in a good in a good state. Okay, we don't need uh, the countries from the west to come and help us solve our problems. Are you are you getting that? Yeah. For example, our president Mr. William Ruto went to the United States 
he used a lot of money to go to the United States. People have been talking about the private jet that he used. And he used a 200 million, over like about 200 million to go just for transport to go to the United States. Not mentioning other things, okay? Mm -hmm. Other costs. We have not mentioned other costs. That is just the, the, the transport from Kenya to the United States. That is, a, that is money that he would have placed somewhere. And that money would have helped us in one way or the other. Okay, yeah. but he has used all of that money simply to go to the United States, and he he is going to the United States. Let me tell you something. Here in Africa, we have about fifty four countries in Africa. Mm, yeah. Are you getting that? Mm. About fifty four countries in Africa. Only Ruto is the president that is being seen having a state visit to the United States. Okay trying to to talk uh, in the name of his going to find a, a solution to the country president wuri kenyatta was in this country he never went to the united states to find a solution to this country Are you getting the point mm. right now as we are talking the money that has been borrowed by the government the money that was borrowed by uru kenyatta within five years william ruto has borrowed that money in two years are you getting that mm -hmm. Tell me, when we are approaching 10 years, how much will he has borrowed as a president? And yet, he is in the United States trying to find ways to come back and solve the problems that are in this country. Now, Let uh, you let's go. We uh, a solution to every problem mm. comes from inside, not from outside. If you want to solve any problem, that is uh, actually uh, uh, approaching you, or maybe that is that, that is in uh, uh, hunting you. The solution comes from inside. The best thing for president to do, he needed, he was needed to come back here to Kenya and find solutions from inside the country, not from outside the country. Tell me, tell me about height yeah. issues because the main issues yes. we are talking about. Huh? And uh, that's where I'm heading right now. That's where I'm heading right now. If I come to you, bro, I want you to. I am. I'm having something, a problem. And I am coming to you so that you help me. You can either help me in the right way or you can either help me in the wrong way. Are you getting the point? Yes. Because I'm seeking the problem, the, the, the solution from you. I don't know what is the, uh, the, the uh, maybe the, uh, okay, I don't know what is, is the mind you have on me. Or maybe I don't know what is your intention with me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to use me so you will give me. A wrong solution mm -hmm. and because I'm, I, I, I'm not enlightened I may not be able to realize this solution is a bad solution so I'll keep on following that but I don't know what is your intention or what is your aim are you getting that mm -hmm. Kenyans have been right like right now Joe Biden has come he has spoken to Ruto Ruto is taking Kenyans policemen to Haiti mm -hmm. okay the US government itself it has military it has policemen Okay, if really United States wants to make peace in the Haiti, in Haiti, U.S. is one of the most powerful uh, countries in in the world. Okay, mm -hmm. the superpower. Are we getting that? They have all means to go and create peace in Haiti, not using Kenyans or maybe the policemen from Kenya to go and make peace in Haiti. Are you getting that? Mm. So. How is Ruto exceptional to be taken all the way, like the, the U.S. government, all the way? We have so many countries in, in, the, in the West that are powerful than Kenya. Mm. Why only Kenya? He has passed a lot of countries and he has come to Kenya. And only Kenya is the government that is willing to take a policeman to Haiti to go and make peace. While in the country, there is no peace. Do you think, do you think uh, William Ruto is a puppet or slave uh, to the U.S. according to what Haitians are saying? We have just seen it right now. Mm -hmm. The Haitians are all where in the streets of, 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 the, of the U.S., in the streets of the Washington and, and, and many other places where they're living in the U.S. They're walking around the streets. They're demonstrating. They're calling William Ruto a puppet. They're calling William Ruto a slave. Mm -hmm. Are you getting the point? Yeah. And according to me, Ruto, not only Ruto is, a, is, is becoming a slave, mm -hmm. but even Kenyans, we ourselves, mm -hmm. we are being taken back to slavery. Are you getting that? Yes. Because if Ruto will begin, will continue following the things or will continue following uh, actually the instruction that is being given mm -hmm. by those uh, white people, by the, that, the, the president of the, of the United States, mm -hmm. next today he has been told he has gone there to seek for a solution 
to come and solve the crisis that are actually uh, we are facing in this country. Mm-hmm. Are we getting that? Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. Another thing, he has been asked to take uh, the Kenyan policeman to Haiti. He has followed. Mm-hmm. Are you getting that? Mm-hmm. Next time, he will be told that Kenyans have to use uh, they have to use dollar mm. or maybe they have to to um, to do like anything they, he can be told anything yeah. and because he has now uh, given himself like he has given himself to the US mm. he has to follow because let me tell you something there is nothing that comes for free US government is willing to give Kenya some amount of money mm-hmm. a lot of money you know yeah. that money is not for free i'm telling you that for free that money is not for free. Yeah. There comes a day, a day, there comes a time that we have to pay for that money. Therefore, if you cannot pay, pay for that money, what does it mean? We shall be taken for slavery. Again, when you see those people calling William Ruto a slave, mm-hmm. it is true. Ruto is becoming a slave. Are you getting that? Yeah. Right now, many members of parliaments and the Ruto allies of, in, in politics here in Kenya are going against William Ruto, the president himself. Mm. People who are back to back with him. Why? Because even them, they are realizing he, this guy is enslaving himself. Are you getting the point? Yeah. The best thing Ruto would have done, he would have stayed here in Kenya, in the country. Mm. We have everything we need to solve the problems that we are having here in the country. Are you getting that? Yes. The money that is being used to buy cars and, and, and employing people, some people are paid, are being paid, they're not working, but they are being paid and they are this country. What Ruto would have done, Ruto would have uh, actually uh, used that money in a good way. Instead of buying new cars and instead of, of, of traveling here and there and you spending a lot of money on the things that do not even help the, the, the government of Kenya, the, the country of Kenya, the citizens of Kenya, he would have used that money like Ibrahim Traore mm. to do something else better than what he is doing right now. Because all the days in our lives, we have been going to the U.S., we have been going to those white countries pleading for help. Where are we today? It's a good example. We should learn from our mistakes. Once beaten, you should be twice shy. You cannot solve a problem from outside when your home is in crisis. Charity begins at home. You sweep your home first before seeing uh, a rubbish in a neighbor's home. Let's okay? let's 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 stop. Let's yes. stop there. And something else before uh, you stop. Something else before you stop. Um, le, you know, uh, right now in the country. Uh, you see those people who are crying mm. they are crying they are crying they are in Haiti they are crying because Ruto is trying to uh, maybe may, they, those people they are, they are very angry with Ruto right now are you getting that whatever is happening in their country we Kenyans we even don't know mm. even I'm very sure 100% even Ruto himself doesn't know the reason for their fights okay mm. so which piece are the Kenyan uh, government or maybe the policemen of Kenya are going to solve there? And even they don't speak the same language. They even don't speak the same language. You see, you, that's the point. They don't even speak the same language. How are they going to help that country? It is. It would be even. It would be more better to see and to understand easily problem. and early that we are being used. Okay, Uganda is there. It has not taken his policemen. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had Ruto when he was asked a question, why is he taking a, a policeman to, 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 to Haiti and yet the, uh, if the Kenya itself is, is in trouble? Mm. You know what he said? He said he is looking forward to make peace with other countries, not only Kenya alone. Are you getting that? Mm. And he said he deployed even policemen to the Somalia and he deployed policemen to, to Congo. Congo. Mm. Let me tell you something. Ruto is not supposed to deploy policemen to Congo. Mm. Congo fight, you don't know where it began from. Mm. Are you getting that? Mm. You don't know where that fight began from. It is well when policemen are taken to Somalia because Somalia is our neighboring country. Mm. And do you know where? when did policemen b- b- began uh, being deployed in Somalia? Mm-hmm. When the Somalis people were attacking Kenyans, okay? Mm. They were uh, uh, th- 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 throwing some attacks in Kenya. In, mm. in, in Kenya. Mm. That is when the policemen from Kenya were deployed where? In Somalia. It makes sense. But taking policemen 12,000 kilometers away from Nairobi, to go and solve an issue, they don't know where it began from, how it began from. They don't know the reason of that fight. That is, a, 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 I would say, that is law of thought. Mm. That the thinking capacity there was low, and I suggest Mr. President would think twice 
and or, or else if he doesn't do so we are going to land in a very big trouble because even our country itself it's not moving let us solve our country a solution a good solution to any problem comes from inside not from outside okay wow yeah Thank you uh, for watching uh, this video. Tell me in the comment section what do you think about this issue. Haitians are in the streets of the U.S. protesting against Ruto. Ruto is facing backlash from the uh, Haitians living in U.S. Uh, tell me what do you think. They are calling Ruto names like uh, puppet, slaves, and every names uh, you had it. So tell me in the comment section what do you think. I am the Kenyan beast, of course. I'm doing it the African way every day every time my friend it is, it is levy made yeah. until next time peace